After racing Challenge Wales back in June, my race season's been on pause. Until now. Back in Wales this time, although a bit more north than west, in Aversock for the Rock Wales race. After the last session was done, we packed up the car and headed on the four hour drive from home through the beautiful Welsh countryside. We are in glorious Wales, Aversock. I think that's how you pronounce it. I'm never quite sure Welsh names, but we're here for the rock try. Catherine's only on spectator duty tomorrow. I'm racing. It's a bit of a weird mountain triathlon. So it's a 1500 meter swim out there. Then a 50k bike to the bottom of Snowdon. And we're going up the Watkin path, which I think is six kilometers up about 940 meters of elevation gain and 6k, which is fairly, uh, fairly steep. Get to the top turn around come back down again where your bike will be obviously from riding there hop back on the bike 50k back to here and then when you get back to the beach there is a token i say that it's going to be probably not that token when we're doing it there's a run from the finish line which is just there all the way to that first groin that wooden wall that goes out into the sea and then back again to the finish line so all of that is probably going to take around four hours, 45, five hours, something like that. Should be an exciting day out, as Catherine was just saying, it's been a very rain the whole day, which is similar to when I did Helvellyn, which if you haven't seen that video, that was two years ago now, wasn't it? We were in Helvellyn when it was the PTO tri event. Link it here. Yes, <laughs> a bit of a different end of season sort of race. Hopefully we'll uh, have a good day out. That's the main focus for tomorrow. Haven't really got any expectations time-wise, so it's just gonna be Good fun doing something a bit different. Now we are going to go and get fish and chips, get the bike all ready and kit ready for the morning. And then we've got to get back, drop my mountain running gear off, which is all sorts of fun things. And then uh, race is underway at eight o'clock tomorrow morning. So dinner time, dinner time. Okay, as promised, a few bits of info on the specialist kit that I have to use for this race, where the run course is pretty, uh, pretty hairy. We've even got a map of the course here. I'll put the map in, but you can basically see a lot of elevation, a lot of unstable ground. Goes up very high, very changeable weather, so you need a few extra things with you. Trail vest has in it, waterproof trousers, full body cover bag, Waterproof jacket, you need gloves, hat, trail shoes, and then I've got my usual gels and stuff as well. And all of that stuff is pretty much in case if you roll an ankle or something up there, it's not like a normal race where you can just walk back to the start. It can actually be a bit dangerous if the weather comes in. So that's why you have all the extra things with you. That's pretty much today all wrapped up. I had fish and chips, that was good earlier. And now get to bed up early in the morning. It's not going to be too early a start because the race starts at eight. But I'm excited. The weather's still looking like a lot of rain, which isn't ideal, but more adventure? I don't know, probably not. Um, yeah, we'll see you in the morning. How you feeling? Yeah, all right. No, I'm pretty nervous. <laughs> well, the sea is 16 degrees. 16.7. 16.7, basically 17. That's warm. And bike's all wrecked. Bag has gone off to Snowden. And Will is nervous. And speaking in the third person. <laughs>
Okay, so quick update. It's been, well, two and a half hours since the race started. Uh, Will was out of the water first, but followed like very closely second by a guy called Mark Duggan, I think. Um, so they both went out on the bike together. Looked like they had both a pretty good swim. Um, I briefly saw Will on the bike as I drove back to our hotel where we stayed last night. Um, Looked like he was going well. We'll see. He hasn't done like a massive amount of cycling recently. Um, we've both been lacking a bit of motivation training wise and cycling's kind of taken like a, a back seat versus running or swimming. So 100k. I don't know how this is going to go because it's basically a 70.3 just with a couple of like shortened distances on the swim and the run. So he might, uh, he might have a really good race and I hope he does because it's the last one of the season um but it's a long way and it's just started raining here and i don't know what the weather's like over there it's going to be pretty changeable all day but it's pretty amazing race like it's really well run they do one in scarfell pike up in the lake district and then also ben nevis up in scotland so they do the three highest peaks in um england scotland and wales so it's really really cool race and really well run so yeah we'll see will in a couple of hours i reckon <laughs> Yeah. Like sausage roll. Yeah, really good fun. These races where it's like the mountain riding, because I don't do that much of it. You just uh you find yourself about three quarters of the way in the run coming down the hill, tripping over a few times, thinking like oh, I've still got 30 miles to get back. Kind of sat on someone's feet for the swim, then led the swim out because they took a bit of a dodge line coming out of the water biked all right i think i normalized like 295 i was trying to be quite conservative there got up the top of snowden first just and then two guys i'm not sure their names just came absolutely barreling past on the descent like running downhill it was a whole different skill so didn't see them again got to the bottom of the hill and i'm not gonna lie my legs were pretty shot by that point i think i normalized like 235 coming back chris uh, another athlete in the pure performance roster he came past and uh, yeah that's where I ended up fourth place run on the beach at the end was interesting <laughs> the soft sand was yeah. just like ugh. it looked so like anticlimactic <laughs> yeah. like we're gonna pack up we've got a cool campsite tonight if you're interested in some mountain biking content stay tuned way more fun than triathlon and so the next half of this video is going to be us visiting Cody, Cody Brennan, Brennan. I definitely said that wrong, but yeah. Camping, mountain biking. We'll see you there. So that was our campsite last night. It did rain most of the night. So we're still in Wales. Breakfast Sunny. has been had. The sun's actually out. Which was like the first time since we've been here. And uh, yeah, we're going to go ride Cody Brennan. I think we're going to do the red. Mm -hmm. On a recommendation from Luke. And uh, maybe the skills area too, but my legs are pretty crackered. Not gonna lie. Mine aren't. <laughs> so Catherine's gonna be dragging me around the trails today. Wicked. So the GoPro decided to do its GoPro thing and the batteries all stopped working, which was much appreciated. Thanks GoPro. Anyway, hope you enjoyed that video. Rock Try was wicked. I'd thoroughly recommend it. I think I'm definitely going to do the Scarfell and Ben Nevis ones at some point in the future. But next up race wise is a half marathon in October. So I've got a bit of training to do before now and then. If you enjoyed the video, drop it a like, subscribe if you're new around here. I'm going to get back into the training videos quite soon because I've got some news to share with you. So stay tuned and we will catch you in the next one. Thanks for watching.